What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know me in the real world, and today I'm bringing you a brand new gameplay on Standoff Capture the Flag, like I promised. And uh, I want to talk about a l little bit about the gameplay first here, real quick. This gameplay I got uh, fairly recently, within the past three days, I believe. Uh, I wind up doing extremely well. Um, I do choke the 40 bomb right at the end. It really sucks. Sorry if I, that's a spoiler for you guys. But uh, th this gameplay does tie in fairly well to the main commentary topic that I'll get into in a little bit. Because there are a couple of things about this gameplay that I want to talk about with that. But anyway, let me start off by talking about some team updates real quick. So, first of all, if you guys remember, I told you that we dropped Play Your Role. And while that decision still stands, we are going to be using him as our coach now. He has agreed to be our coach, which is really awesome because he, he is a really good player. He's a smart player as well. The only problem we really had was that he couldn't play the role we needed. So that's a good thing. We are still looking for a fourth, though. Uh, you guys can still be hitting us up with that. We are trying out a few people right now. It's looking, though, like I might have to move to anchor position, which would maybe not be the best thing. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, I've never really played anchor. That's like the one role I haven't played. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Uh, next thing is we are working on getting sponsored right now, which is a great thing. Uh, one of the ways that we're doing this though, because if you guys don't know, getting sponsored is extremely difficult if you haven't been to a LAN event. So what we are going to probably be doing is we are going to try to maybe merge with a sniping team right now and become their competitive team. So th there's a couple that are looking at us right now and we're going to submit some scrims and stuff to them so that, or have them spectate even. And if, if it works out, then we will have sponsors and we will be able to travel to events a lot easier. Um, next thing that I need to talk about is Columbus. So, if you guys remember, hopefully you do. I, you know, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I talked about this in a previous video. But we were planning on going to Columbus. And that has changed simply due to the fact that you can't sign up anymore. They are fully booked. Uh, it was a more popular event than we anticipated. I mean, it makes sense because it's going to be the first one for Call of Duty Ghost, but that's that. So we are shooting for now going to MLG Dallas. Uh, during the winter, and we will sign up early for that one if we do decide f for sure that we're going to do it. <clears throat> um, some other events we're not really sure yet. We're looking to try and plan out some other events we want to go to, but it, it really does come down to if we get sponsored or not. Um, Alright, so now into the commentary topic that you guys are would be more interested in which is how to improve on your weaknesses. And I want to start out by talking a little bit about mine and my team's weaknesses right now. So this gameplay is on standoff CTF, which is our worst possible combination. Uh, we actually standoff anything is really bad for us. The map just plays weird and occasionally we do good, but it Sometimes it just doesn't work. We don't really seem to know how to play it as well as some other teams. Which is okay to admit, because everybody has their weaknesses. But um, with this gameplay, even though I drop a lot of kills, considering it's CTF, there are a couple of issues. There are a couple of plays that I make that shouldn't have necessarily been made. There's some gunfights that weren't really needed to be challenged. Uh, for example, I believe, yeah, this has already happened. Um, and when when they were pulling back alley through, and I thought they were, I thought they were pulling front, 
but they weren't, and they wound up getting a two-piece on myself and I believe Quadi. Uh, we, I, I just challenged that, and it was a stupid decision, but that wound up allowing them to basically get that flag cap. So, you know, there's just a couple of decisions here and there that just don't quite work out. Um, so for for you guys though, how do you improve? So the number one thing is practice. I know that's really obvious. It's really true though. I mean, if you don't practice, you're not going to get better. Uh, but everybody seems to know this, but they don't really apply it. Like, they'll go into scrims and league play, and at least with scrims, they'll pick maps they're good at. Like, why would you do that? Scrims are for practice. Nobody should care if you win or lose a scrim as long as you learn something from it, because that is what they are for. You need to try to be scrimming maps and modes that you have a difficult time with. That is just my opinion, but I feel like a lot of people would share that sentiment. Because, I mean, it doesn't make sense to practice a lot on the things you're good at. And right here is another example of a bad challenge. Why would I challenge bottom grandmas with an AR? I should have just backed up a little, but, you know, it was a heat-of-the-moment decision. Anyway, so some other things you can do is you can watch pros, AMs, YouTubers, you know, just watch their games. See what they're doing, see how they're setting up. Uh, you know, maybe that's all you need. Maybe you need to try some different strategies, some new class setups, maybe even changing your playstyle, which is a little weird, but I know for me, I change my playstyle depending on the map and mode quite a bit, especially with s &D, as a lot of people do. You tend to play a little more passive than that, but, you know, even in this CTF game, I do change it up a little bit. I go from aggressive to passive and just kind of back and forth a little bit you know it helps throw off the enemy but also sometimes just certain maps you feel like you need to play more passive than others enemy flag acquired. um another thing you can do is you can record your own gameplays or you, you don't even have to record them you can go back in theater and watch them and just pay attention to what you're doing right what your team's doing right and what you're doing wrong and if you still are struggling i would honestly take out a notepad and write down your mistakes and what you should have done instead. So, for example, if you forgot to rotate on a hill and you saw that in your gameplay, or if you rotated incorrectly or something, you know, you could write down, okay, I didn't rotate correctly at the right time. Next time, I need to rotate through back alley or something, and I need to do this at 25 seconds. You know, just looking at that can help you before your next match, because it reinforces it in your head. It, it reminds you, okay, yeah, I forgot. There's that thing that I need to work on. Another, th another thing is that you need to remember to have some fun and to do some things that you are good at while... You want to be practicing, this does sound a little hypocritical, while you are practicing, you need to be practicing what you're bad at, if you don't practice some things that you're good at and you know you can be winning, you might get a little demoralized, you might get frustrated, and, you know, you need to be able to handle frustration, but you need to also have a little bit of fun, because if you, if you start getting just absolutely frustrated because you're constantly losing because you're practicing the things you're bad at, it can, it can hurt your performance. It, it really can. You need to take a break every now and then, or just do something fun. Um, I mean, along with this, patience is key. Don't get frustrated. Uh, it does take a while to get better. While there are some things that can immediately improve your gameplay, for example, um, realizing that, oh, you were rotating the wrong way for a hill, that can make all the difference in the world. That could cause an immediate improvement if you fix it. Whereas something like, oh, you threw a stun that you shouldn't have at some point, and if you realize you could have used it better, that's not going to make a huge difference necessarily. I mean, I don't know, it could, but you guys see that there's certain things that could improve right away. Uh, the last little thing that I want to talk about before I go here is that I have 
And this this is completely off topic, by the way. I have to take the PSAT this uh, this week on Wednesday, and this is good and bad. Um, the good thing is that our flag has been taken. I get to have pretty much no homework that day, so I should be able to get some videos out to you guys. Uh, probably just one video, and then I'll make another one and upload it later in the week. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better in the comments below. Constructive criticism goes a long way. Until next time, everyone, peace out. KIA.